Hey guys, HW heading into Barrel for a special event for the Bridgerton Netflix show event. Lasts for like a couple of weeks. Town's all done up in Regency colours and themes. So we're not here to see the great man, Don Bradman. We're here for a TV show. <laughs> so let's get going. All right, here's the first stop on the Bridgerton tour or the suggested tour is the press shop cafe done up in the done up in flowers to for the Regency period and there's a uh, stage coach over there or no not a stage coach just a coach let's go and have a look Is delightful little coach. So we can take a peek through the window here. It's a bit of a queue to get into the cafe, so I don't think we're going to bother going in there. Could do with the nectar though. Few seats outside. Next best thing, I'll stare in the back window of the cafe. Look at that delightful nectar machine there. old photos of barrel on the wall here or maybe it's not no no this is in Paris this photo is from Paris yeah these are all photos from France That one's Italy, I think. Catch these people inside the cafe, tucking into food and coffee. Oh, nectar. Ah, I've changed our mind. We sat down outside the press shop on the outdoor seating and the flat white has arrived. Got myself a large flat white. Let me test a bit. Yeah, that's a winner. Delicious. Alright, we're finishing the press shop cafe. 
Just in Benyette Street. We're about to head down to the next spot. Well, next spot according to my schedule. I've got the brats with me today, so I couldn't... Um, I can't go to the next stop on the menu, which was a... Uh, cocktail bar it's got the brats with me today so there's no point going there so we're going to take the third stop on the on the tour which is a uh, place called Dirty Jane's which is a uh, furniture shop I think oh furniture shop and other curiosities I think Harry's on green. That may have even been the cocktail bar, which was the next stop. Here it is, Dirty Jane's. Oh, it's one of these antique shops with different stalls. Let's see what we can see. can see some Royal Albert over there the telltale signs of Royal Albert those roses on the design these old bicycles up on the wall here I think it says it's a Gitane, I think, a Gitan. <sighs> that chair there, <laughs> that chair there is 200 bucks. Soul clock, 395, French country kitchen clock apparently. These old motoring signs here, these old Ford signs. 88 bucks each and then some petrol ones. Got the golden fleece. Spaceman. Made in China though. I know enough about tin toys to know that you want the ones that are made in Japan, not the ones made in China. The Japanese ones are where the money's at. Anyone for coffee? Oh, there's Cat in the Hat. Oh, there I am on the security camera, look. What's the camera? There. Hey, there I am. This old vinyl shop, look. I don't recognise any of the albums on the wall. Oh no, there's Dr. Dre up there. recognise that one. There's a little schnauzer down there. Hey. Standing guard over this little shop here. Look at this little cocktail stand here that opens up like an egg. Place to keep your glasses and bottles of grog. pretty cool How much is it it's called a globe standing bar it's two thousand four hundred and ninety five dollars 
Pretty cool though. Old vintage camera shop. There's an old underwater camera I'd say. These old ones up here. Gramophones up here. His master's voice. Four hundred and eighty-five bucks for that one. Might be a bit of a recreation one. That one. Didn't even notice that before. It's a little billy cart. Five hundred and twenty-five bucks for that. Got the old STP logo there. Which is some sort of oil, isn't it? We've come to the end of one part of the antiques shed and we've come out into this garden. Looks like they've got some kumquats planted here in these old wine barrels. Some of them ripe, others not. These ones are definitely ripe. I had a couple of these trees in my my home in uh, Coogee when I lived there and my old man tried his hand at turning the kumquats into alcohol. And uh, <laughs> it was real rocket fuel, let me tell you. Yeah, when we stepped out of that um, antiques arcade before, that was the place I saw on the left first, uh, Harry's in Green Lane, that was the cocktail place. But now we're at the next stop, which is the Coach House Collective. Got beautiful vine all hanging down over the top of the Coach House doors. Red painted windows, bicycles with flowers. Thank you. Thank you. So mostly a furniture store and other artifacts for the home. Yeah, I don't think we need to film all this furniture, do we? One thing I like about this Bridgerton tour around Barrel is all the places are pretty closely packed together. There's the Press Cafe over there and we're just around the corner at the, uh, the Antique Arcade. This is Bong Bong Street, if you were wondering. Bong Bong Street in Barrel.
Oh wow, get out of town. Look at this, the Bronte tram. I remember a, a shop in uh, uh, Waverley called the Bronte tram. Looks like they've either moved or they've taken the same name. Another shop full of antiques. I'll have a quick look in the door. the fish oh here we are at the next location the gum nut patisserie the famous gum nut patisserie there's the special Bridgerton cakes that they've they're churning out for this event for the week or so that it's on they look all right. Might have to get some of those. Cheeky chocolate eclairs there. Look at those meringues just there. I'm going to get an order outside first. That's still good. <laughs> good. Oh, the Gumnut Patisserie is a award winner at the Sydney Royal Show. 14th annual winner of the President's Medal. Can't wait to try one of these pies now. Oh, here they are. They've listed some of their awards on the side of the window here 2019 champion of the raspberry bar of Oys, whatever they are 2019 champion of the strawberry rhubarb tart chocolate croissant the list goes on and on vanilla slice slam raspberry pie oh multiple award winner Oh, there's some of the medals there. Bronze, silver, gold, champion. Alright, I've picked up the Eden pie at the Gumlake Patisserie. It's got an E listed on it. What else have we got? We've got sausage roll, beef pie, lamb and rosemary. And in a minute, I'll give you a geezer at the special Bridgerton sponge cakes. Oh, the new Empire Cinemas in Bong Bong Street Barrel or Road. I can't remember whether it's a road or a street. But what have they got playing in the old picture house? Got Challenges, Abigail, Back to Black, Civil War, Wicked Letters, Ghostbusters and Kung Fu Panda 4. Established 1915. Oh, here we are at the next location. Retford Park. Lovely old estate in Barrel. Built in 1887 by the Horden family. I wonder if that's the same from the uh, Horden um, name in Sydney, the Horton Pavilion. I wonder if that's the same family. Probably is. And then it was acquired by the Fairfax family in 1960s, in the 1960s, and redesigned. 
We're going to have a bit of a look around here in a second. There's, there's gardens everywhere, there's statues, there's really old trees and gardens. That cost me 49 bucks. Yeah, I was saying before the battery ran out, it's um cost me 49 bucks to get in and then it was another 30 something dollars each to go on a guided tour of the house so you can forget that Oh, I spot a tea out in the gardens, a bit further away from the house. It's a family chicken coop. There's the rooster standing guard. I believe this swimming pool complex was added by the Fairfax family in the 60s. All the massive old trees in the garden. Places dotted with them. Ancient. I think this is called the Green Gallery. And I think that statue in the middle is called the Hero. I found the rhubarb garden. And this is where I stood in a bunch of dog crap and spent the next 20 minutes scraping it off my boot. Certainly had some expansive gardens. Just went on and on and on. Massive property. Go see it if you get to Barrel. Oh, it's time for an Arvo coffee at the mill. The old mill in Barrel. Here they are, the Bridgerton cakes. There it is. I've already eaten the chocolate off the top of it. Jam sponge. <laughs> a coffee on the flour and the sugar, the icing sugar. And that's it. The bitter and cake is demolished. Luckily, I've got this oil press to wash it down. Delicious. Next stop on the Bridget and tour, Sweet Treats, a candy store in town. Here we are up at the Barrel Lookout. That'll do the video for today as we look over the town of Barrel. There's that historic house over there that we were at earlier. So I hope you enjoy the walk around Barrel for the Bridgerton event. See you in the next vid. The video is over.